my girlfriend made it for me. Like all our pictures and stuff, and it has like something, like the date and like what we did that day and like just memories and stuff. And of course I like friend, my best friend, she gave me a picture too. Like high school memories. She said, okay, she's black, so she said I'm never allowed to make a new black friend when I go to Arizona. So. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bringing long sleep to Arizona. This truck is old, man. It's, it's on some major missions with us. I don't drive it very often. It's a big monster truck. We don't take it, you know, during during a work week, you know, sometimes. But it's used primarily for wrestling, just to go out of town, throw everybody in here. And that's going to take me to Arizona on Tuesday. So I'm just trying to get it cleaned up, you know. Take Nico to the airport right now, get it cleaned up. And when he gets when we get home today, and hook up the trailer and start loading up the stuff. Alex, right, here. This is where we cut most of our weight, get it done. My dad started hanging up all my posters today. Um, like this one's my freshman year, and like he just wants kids like walking in because most of the kids enter through the garage this way. He wants them walking in, like, all right, well, this is where he first started off, like his first day title. I mean, his first day uh, tournament was here, he took third. And then, like, uh, he just made like a progression, like, he hung up uh, my other ones right here, the other three. And then, like, this is what they look forward to, you know, like winning more state titles. Like, this is my uh, first state title. Might be Alex in finals, and then this is my second state title where it'd be Elijah, and then this is my senior one where I'd be uh, Chris Garcia. But like, it just has a whole entire thing. Like, we walk in, like, all right, this is where Nico started off, and then like, this is where I did my workouts, so I'd run after practice and all that stuff, and then this is what you look forward to. Like, this is where the after work happens. I just recently put my son's brackets up. We've never hung any brackets, never really showcased his, his trophies. He put those trophies on our piano, actually for a photo thing we do for school. And we kind of just left it there, usually just thrown somewhere. Brackets are always on the side of his bed and he doesn't care about them. And I thought it would be a nice little thing to put them on to the state brackets at least to show kids who are here training. Um, like, hey, this is what you're trying to achieve right now. This is what you're trying to get to. A lot of horrible memories in here, kind of like, not fun at all. I love having the kids here. I don't let my kids um, stay at people's houses too often. And then obviously where we live, I prefer, I'd rather have 10 kids stay at my house and thrash my house. And I keep an eye on them, I can spend time with my kids then. I remember like, we had like, um, you know, the Foxes and like Victor and all of them come, we'd have like, guy doing here, we have a guy running, we have a guy here, we have like two of us in the, in the sauna just hanging out. We have one of us just curled up in the ball because we're all tired. And then we have like, another one doing push-ups and like just trying to get, uh, stay active. And uh, like, <laughs> there come one point where like, we all jam pack in here. This was, this was a four person sauna, but we all jam pack and put like six of us in there. And just like cuddle in there together. Like we hate wrestling, like we hate granting and like all this other stuff. I don't want them to have to bring that home. I mean, obviously they're cutting weight, they gotta run, they gotta do that stuff, their cardio stuff, but wrestling leaving the wrestling room, you know? And they, uh, people think, oh, you must be working these kids out. I said, no, we do four or five hours a day working out anyway. Why would I want to come home and still do that? You come home and do your running, your cardio, and we have our family time. Family's the most important thing, and I don't need to bring that home. So I want their workout room here at least, now that I can afford it to be a sanctuary, you know? We recently just got this, but it's cool, like, parents come over, kids come over, they're just like over here playing games. Just turn it on, just play games while the kids are cutting weight. I know it sucks to cut weight, and I know it sucks to run. I hate it myself, um, but, what I've done with them, I, I, you know, I put a big TV in front of the treadmill. Uh, I put their their air dye in there, and they got the music in there. I try to make it as comfortable as possible, because uh, nobody wants to run, nobody wants to cut their weight. I mean, you can be as bad as you are, and the best guy in the nation, they don't like doing it. Nobody likes it. So for me, at least, I try to make it as comfortable as possible. I've got kids who I like, train here, um, and the same thing. You know, I'll put a TV on for them, I'll put music on for them, whatever makes them more most comfortable. But I don't like people to linger here. I don't want the, this to be known as uh, Nico's house where you come and train and, and get crazy and all that. No, I want to come here, cut your weight. If you need to do cardio, you don't want to run in the streets or the park, wherever, be at practice. Come here, get in, get out. You know, we never really stop working out, but we, we do occasionally take like a two weeks off, like off the wrestling mat, but we're always staying running and always lifting. And uh, this is where I do my work. <laughs>
I started wrestling when I was uh, five years old. I was born and raised in Gilroy. My dad and mom were born in Gilroy. I probably love just like the motions of it, just like um, when I'm like taking the guy down when I'm like flowing and, and then I just get like a clean shot and I just explode and like finishing the shot, it just uh, feels good. All right, we step away from the hardwood for just a second to hit the mat with the Gilroy wrestling team. The Mustangs are fresh off their ninth straight CCS wrestling championship, and they had an impressive eighth place showing at the state finals in Bakersfield. Now we decided to send Golden State Warriors hype man Franco Finn down to Garlic Country to grapple with the Gilroy wrestlers. Chuck, we're here at Gilroy Health and Fitness in Gilroy, California. Now I gotta tell you, there's a lot of hooter and holler in here because you know what, these guys and gals from Gilroy, that's right, the Gilroy Mustangs, nine straight CCS championships. Take a look at the medals right now because they're clinking and clanking because they've got, these are each of their individual medals and it's phenomenal what this school has done and what Coach Varela has done with this program. And you know what, I gotta tell you, the Gilroy Mustangs are a powerhouse in Northern California and they're definitely here to stay and they got many more years to come. Talk to one of our guys here. He's look. He's ready to go with his cowboy hat. Ready to go. Give us your name. Uh, Nico Villarreal. Okay. And now, what what year are you? I'm a freshman. So he's a freshman. Okay. Now, as a freshman, you've already got. I can't even count over here. It's, I just hear a lot of noise. How many medals have you got in your freshman year? Freshman year, I don't even know. It's just, I just lost track, and I don't know yet. <laughs> That's a good answer to have. Losing track. Let's, let's talk to my man over here. Give us your name. Uh, my name is Blake Castle. Okay, and what year are you? I'm a junior. Okay, you're a junior. Now, have you always uh, been in wrestling since your freshman year? Uh, yeah, I moved here my last year, my sophomore year. So ever since then, I've been part of this Gilroy family and their tr like, grand tradition. Now, what, what is your proudest moment as a Gilroy Mustang grappler? Uh, probably winning CCS this year by having every match by fall and just being part of the nine-time champs. I love it. I love the confidence. I mean, as a junior right here, but talking about the young talent, uh, a freshman, is that correct? Yeah. And well, give us your name. Uh, Paul Fox. Paul Fox. Now, you're a freshman, just like uh, Nico over here, and you started right from the get-go with a great program with Coach Varela, and here you are. You've got another three years ahead of you. What's going on through your mind saying, wow, I can't wait till my sophomore year? Or what, what, what are you thinking about Gilroy Mustang wrestling? Uh, it's good. It's hard. We work hard every day, and that's a good, good program. We've won nine straight titles, and just keep going. What, what would you be your goal, I guess, if you will, when you're done from Gilroy High and your senior year, and you want to be able to look back at, at your hopefully four years of wrestling, what would you like to accomplish, and what would you like to do? I'd like to win... Uh, CCS, four, I went four times CCS. I'd like to win state, well, at least once, and just get to a good college. Offense and for defense. If you ever get on your back, of course, you need to be able to bridge. 
But if you're ever on offense too, sometimes you have a leg and the guy will be pushing your head down. You gotta be able to keep your head in the right position and stuff like that. Get out front of that ball. Get out front of those abs. I remember not being very good, that's for sure. I remember I was just, I mean, I, of course I was young, I started young, but I don't know, I remember liking it a lot. It was very competitive and I liked winning. I got into wrestling in the fifth grade. My dad said it'd be fun. And I went in not knowing what was what to expect and I thought there was gonna be chairs and other stuff like on TV and it was not that at all. I've wrestled with are the best in the state. I mean, when I first started, I saw Nico, I was like, oh my god, this guy can't lose. Paul and Willie, they can't stop. Ice, like, he's like a machine. So I grew up with them. I always get beaten up by them, but I just kept going, you know. I mean, I'm losing to the best guys in the state. You know, I, I gotta be doing something right if I'm not getting whipped on that bad. old, 10 years old, um, probably the most vivid memories would be when we would like have four hour practices in, in the barn in the back and we would just, we would just drill and drill and Coach Greg would just like, like be honest about details and just like, like pushing hard every day and uh, I think that's what really helped us step up our game and take it to the next level. Call it, this belt was called uh, Battle for the Belt. It was in Temecula. I actually won this this year beating Ralph and Tobar. And then these two, these are uh, the Ghost Guerrero, that boxer guy. He gave me this because like uh, I got voted for most athletic person of the year or something like that. I have a, I don't remember. I wasn't expecting these at all. And then of course my cowboy hats from Gaki, You know, my first belt I've ever won was at the Super Tournament in LA. First season or two, I had we were I was a seasonal wrestler. I um, went only for freestyle, and then after that, my dad started to get more serious with me and started getting me in there every day. And that's when we met um, Greg, and then uh, we met Ice Isaiah Loxon, and then after that, we met the Foxes, and then once we started to combine, and then we met Leaf Dominguez, and then after that, we just we came together and we just friggin' every day after like we go six hours a day, seven hours a day, and then just 
every single day. And some days we only go like Sundays off and we get every like Monday through Saturday. But it wasn't until like my third or fourth year we started getting serious. Uh, my state rings and my state medals. Like this is the three time I got and then this is my first state title. Yeah, this is all like where it all started. Like I have all the back trophies, all the eagles you see. Like that's all junior high and like elementary stuff. Like working my way nationals and winning nationals and placing there. We just started getting better and better and then Greg's like just fully committed himself to us and like he'd go an hour or two before high school practice and then we'd go the whole entire high school practice doing what they're doing. This tournament right here, grab it. this tournament right here was our first team trophy we ever won. When we were, uh, we're kids, uh, we called it the fake TLCs because like it was, it was just a tournament one. But um, it was heck of funny, we only had five of us, so it was me, Willie, Paul, Leaf, and Ice. And then everyone came stacked with like 20 people in like a weight class and like, like we're probably not gonna take first, we're probably gonna take third. And like all of us were placing like top top three, top two. And we uh they're like, alright, first place, Gilray, Hawks, and then we're like, oh that's crazy, like we started winning this, like this is our first team trophy, and like he gave it to us, so it was pretty cool, like I don't know, like all the hard work actually paid off. Like this is the first time, like first trophy we've ever won as a team. So eighth grade summer, um, uh, we got this email from Ice's dad, Danny Loxon, saying that you know, uh, his whole entire family's going live oak, so Ice is gonna go there and train and whatnot. And it was just a, it was a really sad moment because I remember going to Ice's house a lot. He was really close. Me and him were really close uh, before he left. And then it was just, it was almost like a, like, like a dream because I didn't know it was really happening. I was really shocked. I didn't know what to do. And um, you know, through freshman, sophomore, junior year, I kind of had like, I feel like I had this this depressing feeling every time I saw him and his family. I kind of got like really like quiet. I didn't want to really say hi to them. Coming into my freshman year, I was really nervous. Like uh, I wouldn't have my uh, old coach, Coach Greg, that, would have, that I grew up with my whole middle school years. Um, my teammates that I normally drilled with and grew up with. And um, I just thought freshman year, you know what? No matter what, I'm still gonna be the best. I'm gonna train. I'm going to try to keep learning, watching videos, and uh, uh, I just love the sport, so I just kept on figuring out new ways to learn. So freshman year, I won CCS and went to state. Um, in the finals, I took second. And uh, sophomore year, I went to all the tournaments, went undefeated, and uh, won that state title. And I uh, was really excited. All right, I'm standing alongside the head coach for the wrestling program at Gilroy High School. Of course, my man here, Greg Varela. Now, I gotta say, you've been here for nine years, is that correct? Yep, that's correct. I was uh, seven years as assistant and two years as head coach. And it's no coincidence, I mean, you've been here nine years and this program has gone nine straight CCS championships. Tell us about these nine straight CCSs and, and kind of going from year one to now. Well, the kids have progressed a lot. Um, it started off with Armando Gonzalez, who was the head coach for uh, many years here. And uh, I, I came in as an assistant nine years ago, nine years ago, and uh, they progressed so much. The kids started off CCS champions, CCS titles, and progressed into state, state medalists, and that now, now we're getting national medalists out of them. So it's progressed over the years. It's taken a long time, but we're, we're, we're getting there. we still got work to do. Well, I got to say, I mean, that, that, that's the great attitude and mentality. There's still work to do, but when you look back in retrospect, you guys are the top program in Northern California. Nine straight in anything is quite an accomplishment. What do you think is the main difference at Gilroy High and, and kind of what you bring to the table? 
Uh, I think it's Gilroy family. It's, we don't look at ourselves as a team or uh, we're just more of the sport. We're a family. We all stick together and, and uh, help each other out. And uh, the kids lean on each other, and it really uh, puts a good support system for them. And that's, I think that's why they're so successful. Here's the thing. I know you guys are all tired, but your parents, your parents work like dogs, night and day, long hours, just like you guys did, OK? So we need to give them big hugs and big kisses, big round of applause when we turn around, OK? One, let's say big round of thank you. Ready? One, two, three. go undefeated. I plan to win state. I plan to take it all this year. It's my year. I'd say this is one of our best performances. We had six finalists here at mid -Kells, which is uh, saying a lot. We had a uh, a real tough match, uh, a couple of real tough matches not go our way, but uh, to, to end the show we had uh, some two good solid wins from our team leaders. And uh, it's great because they've been our leaders, this group's leaders since uh, they were little guys, so great way to close out the show for our mid-cows. Out of this group, these guys are. Uh, we're very senior heavy this year. They've been with me for a really long time. These guys are uh, travel together, train together, pray together, and uh, they spend all. I mean, they see each other more than their real family. And uh, to have them, these seniors, send them out as mid cal champions. Their their tournament is uh, just a dream come true. It's a true blessing. It's an awesome feeling. My last, my last big run, I did it big. I got 40 takedowns this tournament, and I'm just—it's a huge privilege to call myself a Gilbert Mustang, and to be a part of this program and be a part of this tournament. Uh, Nico's offensive as heck, but he's all around. He's all around the best. Guys can't finish a shot on him. He knows that. He's not afraid. He knows he can take anybody down. He does it time after time, and he's—he's he's the best. I absolutely love this program, you know, I've grown up here, it's uh, the only family I can depend on. If I need something, I'm, I'm definitely going to come to them, you know. We have a more uh, older group now, they're, they're starting to develop, they're, uh, you know, we started off as freshmen, you know, we started as a young team, baby team, and uh, we still performed, but now we're older, we're ready to go, you know, we're mature, um, we just know what we have to do, we, we're mentally prepared, we're, we're physically prepared, and uh, we're just excited to see what happens, you know. Future high school wrestler right here. <laughs> Next floor time. And we're probably the third generation right now. We're, we're still going strong. We're still going strong. I'm going to come back 20, 30 years from now and see that they haven't lost one yet. Not even close, you know. And this year for our 12th one, I try, um, I'm trying to break records with everyone. I'm trying to beat CCS records for most champions to win it and uh, the most team points ever scored in CCS. Not just to win 12 in a row, but to beat all those records. <laughs> I also want to give a huge shout out to the Fox family, uh, Bill and Gloria. You know, I just I want to say thank you for um, letting me just grow up with your sons, Willie and Paul Fox. It's just been an honor, you know. And then the almost doesn't everyone, the Loxons. But uh, ultimate goals, you know, I have goals being a state champion, national champ, doing all that stuff. But my ultimate goal is making my family proud, making everyone proud. We push out champs, you know. You know how they're always saying, you know, uh, champions are always built here, and it's it's true. We're always going to be pushing out champs. After I graduate, we have generations after generations to come. Just big dogs who just gonna who's going to do work for Gilroy High and stuff. So I'm excited to see how this program grows, and uh, I hopefully when I get if I get 
big in wrestling or something. I can give back to the community. You know, I'm already trying to give back as much as I can. I'm trying to help little guys out. And uh, I just I just love it here. Help us to uh, do the best we can the rest of the season and to uh, always be thankful for all the blessings we have. In Jesus' name, amen. Real quick, man. Thank you, FLC! One, two, three, six!